Hi, my name is Mike Grieve. Uh, I'm going to tell you about the Mosis L40 remote head. Um, this is one of the most trusted heads in Hollywood uh, today. It was used um, on films such as Gravity, one of the first LED wall productions, uh, on Stranger Things and on Shape of Water. So it's an industry standard um, that's in use um, daily. The origins of the L40's design and conception uh, came from when we were asked to work on the film Gravity, which uh, was an LED shoot. And what we needed was a design for a head that allowed light to shine through from the LED screens onto the actors. So this is why the L40 has a lattice design. And the reason why it's got powerful motors uh, is that these heads were used um, on rigs that were moving very, very quickly. So they needed to have the strength and the motor power to support the camera weight during these moves. It's designed as a techless uh, remote head so that it can be set up and used by camera operators or um, focus pullers rather than having a remote head specialist on set saving, saving money on the production. It's a two axis remote head, so pan and tilt, um, but you can actually add another axis, the third axis being the roller axis as an option for this. It's built as a single-sided L-shaped frame, uh, specifically to make camera mounting and dismounting really, really easy. It's incredibly powerful. It can hold a camera even unbalanced when the lenses are being changed. It uses cycloidal gears, uh, not worm gears, which are typical. And cycloidal gears are not affected by changes in temperature, no adjustments required depending on the payload, uh, and it doesn't produce any juddering under heavy loads. So it's a really good choice of, of gear. Importantly, uh, they don't provide any backlash. There's zero backlash with these types of gears. The gear motors in here are rated at 90 newton meters. They can hold a nine kilogram or 18 pound load from one meter uh, from the motor's diameter. So incredibly strong. In fact, the L40 will take a 40 kilogram payload or 88 pounds, uh, and it only weighs 18 kilograms or 40 pounds. In terms of pan tilt speed, um, it will move at 180 degrees in one second and it has a pan tilt range of 720 degrees, so really, really powerful. The L40 has a unique option called back pan. This is a system that allows the L40 mounted on a crane or jib when swung through an arc to keep the camera plane parallel to the scene being shot without any additional adjustment. The L40 has also got another unique feature in that there are large diameter holes through the center of uh, the motors allowing the cables to connect to, to the camera, so no slip rings are used in this system. The L40 uses a daisy chain connection for power and comms cables. This means that a single cable can connect between the power and the controller, and between the controller and the head. You can operate the L40 with a wireless control surface or a wired control surface. For up to 100 meters, wired is fine. 300 meters distance, then you would use wireless. And if you want to operate over kilometers, you'd use the fiber optic cable, which we have an option for. The L40 offers operators three choices of input. They can use a pan bar, they can use hand wheels, or they can use a joystick. The L40 has all three axes encoded uh, for virtual production. So whether you're doing on-set previs, uh, on-set finishing, or post-production compositing, this is the output data that you need to reposition uh, elements in 3D space. And that's an overview of the L40.